This AI ad was created with a brand new tool that just launched recently from Google. Before this, getting AI video to look this polished was nearly impossible. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the entire workflow from initial concept to final render. So you can create something like this using Nano Banana Pro. And the best part, no technical expertise required, no marketing degree needed. If you can write a prompt, you can do this. So let's go into it and have an overview of the entire process. So first of all, the first step is ideation and shot list creation. This is where we're going to plan out the idea behind the ad and create the prompts for the images and the videos. Next is the generation of the reference images with Nano Banana Pro. We'll create at least one image for each video clip that we want so we can make sure that the video clip that we're gonna create is spot on. Then step number three, once we have those reference images, we're gonna create the video clips using Google's VO 3.1. Then lastly, we're gonna pull all of those clips together, put them in editing software, and maybe add some music too to make it look professional. However, there are some extra tips and tricks that I'm gonna go into in each step that really make a world of difference in order to make it look professional. So let's get into it with step number one, which is the ideation phase. Okay, so first you wanna go over to Claude or ChatGPT or Gemini, it doesn't really matter too much. And we want AI's help with creating the ideas for what the different shots should be. I think that in like a 30 second ad, you probably need about eight different shots. So I'm gonna paste in this prompt here. And what I've done here is I've got several different sections. First of all, I'm priming it and saying that I wanted to help me create a video ad for a snowboarding brand called 32. I want your help to create an image prompt and a video prompt for each of the eight shots that I want in this ad. Let me recorrect ad. Now, what I've done next is I have thought about the shots that I want and I've specified what shots that I want, such as shot one, I want a shot um, of the mountains. In shot two, I want a snowboarder walking up the mountain. However, you do not need this. You can simply write in here, um, create these eight shots for me. So if you don't want to think about it, just ask AI to create these eight shots for you as well. Then I'm going to say for each shot, you should give me an image prompt and you should give me a video prompt. Only the video prompt should include any information about motion of the subject or the camera. So what we want in the output is shot one, shot two, shot three, shot four, et cetera, onto shot eight. And under each shot, we want the prompt for the image and the prompt for the video. Because what we're gonna do here is rather than feed a prompt directly into a video model, which will give us the video, we're going to play around with the images so that we get, the, uh, we get a really good reference image that we're really happy with. And then we're gonna take that reference image and put it into the video model. The reason for this is that it's much cheaper to play around with uh, creating new reference images than it is to play around with video models. And this means that we can get it absolutely correct before we send it off to the video model, which just makes things uh, quicker and cheaper. Then lastly, I've said, use the prompt guide below to write the image prompts. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my community and I've got a post within my community which uh, breaks down uh, the ultimate prompting guide for Nano Banana Pro. I'm gonna copy and paste this um, and take this and put it into Claude so it knows exactly um, how to create those image prompts. And then all I'm gonna do is send this off. I'm just gonna think about it for a little while and it's gonna come back with uh, essentially our shot list and our prompts for all our images and our prompts for all of our uh, videos too. Okay, so here we go. We've got all of our shots. We've got shot eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you can see that for each shot, it's gonna give us a video prompt as well as a reference image prompt. So the next thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna create all of the images for each one of these shots or the reference images using Nano Banana Pro. So I'm gonna copy uh, this here, which is the reference image prompt for shot one. And I'm gonna come over to Google AI Studio and I'm in the playground section and I've got Nano Banana Pro selected here and I've got my API key connected. Now on the right hand side, we are gonna make sure the aspect ratio is uh, 16 by nine, and you can play around with the resolution. If you're really going for something that uh, you, you really wanna publish and put out there and put marketing spend behind, you might wanna go for like 4K, I'm gonna use 1K for now. So um, all we're gonna do is simply paste in that prompt and click on run. And you can see that this prompt um, shows an isolated mountain peak with a dramatic ridge line, a spin drift, snow blowing violently over the summit ridge, creating ethereal plumes against the sky. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Now I could make any changes that I want to this, but I don't really think it needs any changes. That's looked pretty good, it looks like a mountain. I think that's all we need. Now, before we continue, if you are serious about AI and you want to get up to speed and stay up to speed, then my Applied AI Mastermind is the place you need to be. Inside, we have a load of in-depth video courses from the basics of AI to building AI agents with NA10 to how to apply AI profitably to a business. There's over 2,000 AI automation templates ready to use within seconds, a constantly updated list of the best AI tools for you to use, and countless resources like the Nano Banana Pro prompt that I showed earlier 
that's from there and ready to help you on your AI journey. Plus, I post daily AI news in there, so you're never going to be left behind. And right now, the Mastermind is the cheapest it will ever be. So go ahead, check it out. I'll leave a link down in the description. Anyway, back to it. So now I'm going to go on to shot number two. Shot number two is a close-up of walking boots, although they're going to be snowboarding boots. So I'm going to take this um, image prompt here. Now, on this video, what I want is the boots from the snowboarding brand. And in order to make sure that we actually get the right boots, I am going to download an image of the actual boots themselves and then upload it to Nano Banana Pro. So if I come over back over to Google AI Studio, create a new chat, I'm going to paste in the prompt. And um, I can see here after the boots, I'm going to say um, shown in reference image attached. And then what I'm going to do is drag and drop in that image of that specific snow warning boot. And there we go. That's the specific boot that I want. So it's actually going to use that boot when it creates the image, not just make something up. So let's send that off, click on run. And hopefully um, we should see this specific boot walking up through the mountains. Okay, there we go, pretty good. So I'm gonna make a change here because I think I want to make the text on the boot slightly more clear. So I'm gonna say, um, zoom in slightly on the text on the boot and make it easy to read. And I'm gonna send that off. And it's gonna take this image and it's gonna make a change to it. So we want the branding really nice and clear because this is an ad. The whole point is it's meant to show the brand. Okay, there we go. That's our image. We can see that is our specific boot from the brand. And it's got the nice uh, the brand logo, or brand text right there. Okay, good. So I'm gonna go away and do this for all of the rest of the prompts here. Okay, so I have now created all of those images and I've put them within a folder. And you can see this is uh, still number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, seven, and then I've got two for number eight because I want them to uh, go into each other. Now, one thing to note, um, in order to keep the character consistent, you can see there's the same character throughout. Um, you know, make sure she's wearing the same clothes, she's got the same snowboard, et cetera, et cetera. What I've had to do is create uh, several of the images in the same chat. So you can see here, um, this picture of the snowboarder and the picture of her behind. Um, they both come from the same conversation within Google AI Studio, which means that um, the character consistency is going to stay. That's really important. Okay, so once we have all of the stills for our ad, we are then going to go into the image model and actually create images from these stills. So to do this, there are lots of tools you can use. I'm going to use Kai AI. The reason for this is you don't need to sign up for like a monthly subscription. You just pay for what you use. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to VO 3.1. And once we're here, we are going to click on image to video because we want to create a video from those specific images that we just created. And I'm going to get rid of these. Um, I'm going to make sure we've got 16 by 9 selected. I'm going to go on VO 3.1 quality because quality is something that we want here. But if you just want to create a fast mock-up, then you can go fast. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the prompt. And for the first one, for the first uh, video, we are going to get the first still, which is this one here. And I'm going to put that into the start frame. And then we're going to go back over to Claude. And we're going to go back up to the top. And we're going to copy the video prompt. And let's grab that. I'm going to take that video prompt and we're going to go over to Kai and we're going to paste that in here. Now, it costs a little bit of money to create these videos. Um, so I'm going to make sure that the prompt is correct and there's not anything I want to change before I'm sending it off. Yep, that all looks good. So what I'm going to do is simply generate this and it's going to go off and it's going to create that video for me. It's going to take about two minutes or so. So let's come back when it's finished. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes and here we go. Here is our video. And that is fantastic. You can see that the reason that we created that reference image is so the video is exactly what we wanted. We could have made any changes to the uh, photo before we feed it into the video because now the video is exactly what we want. We don't have to play around and create another one. So that's great. I'm going to simply download this and let's move on to the next one. So I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to get rid of this prompt here. And we're going to pull in the second uh, still, so of the uh, snowboarder walking up the mountain. We're going to go over here and go on to prompt number two and make sure we copy the video prompt. And we'll copy this. And we'll go back over to Kai and paste that in. Make sure that everything is correct. Yep, that looks good. Uh, then we're simply going to click Generate again and give it a couple of seconds. And it's going to give us uh, that new clip. OK, so here we go. We have got our second video. So let's have a quick look. Yep, there you can see snowboarder walking up through the mountain. Pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to go away and create the rest of those videos. I'm going to come back when they're all done. 
Okay, so I'm just creating the last video clip. And if you can remember, I created two images for this. The reason for this is I want a start frame and an end frame. So this is gonna be my start frame, and then this is gonna be my end frame. So I want the logo of the company to kind of like fade in. So I've got a start frame and an end frame. So I've put the start frame and end frame in and described how I want the logo to appear. Okay, so I've now created all of those shots. And as you can see here, I've got all of the different ones here. And now what we're gonna do is we just need to edit them all together to create a nice ad. Next, you can pick whichever video editing software you like. It really doesn't matter. I'm gonna pick CapCut, but you choose whatever. I'm gonna take all of those shots and bring them into CapCut. Now we have it all within our editing software now, but we probably wanna make some changes because if we scroll through it, it probably looks okay but it looks like we could probably improve it with a few little things. Uh, some shots need to last for a shorter amount of time. Um, but yeah, there we can see this is the outline of our ad. One thing I've done as well is I've gone over to Suno and I have created a song with this description over here. And I'm simply gonna download that. And I'm gonna take that download and bring it into CapCut. And now we've got the audio, which is AI generated as well. So give me a little bit of time. I'm gonna slice all of these together. Okay, so I've spent a couple of minutes editing. I am by no means the best editor, but essentially what I've done is just shrunken down the clips a little bit so that rather than being eight seconds long, they're probably about four seconds long now. And um, this is the entire thing. And you can see it flows just a little bit better. There you go. Now there are some things that I could change and some things that I could improve. These are all relatively minor things that can be easily tweaked within your Nano Banana Pro image before you send it into the video model. That's it from me from this video. Have a look down below for some interesting goodies in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.